Hello kids and welcome to the misadventures of Willy Wombat. No, this is Let's Play Mega Man, of course. Who's ever heard of the misadventures of Willy Wombat? And now I want somebody to create a game called The Misadventures of Willy Wombat. Anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man. We are storming Dr. Wily's castle one last time. Well, actually, this is one first time. Okay. I see what I must do here. Gonna fill up the firestorm. Should be the last time we need to use Magna Beam as well, and I'm gonna save state here. Actually, the Yashichi is in this level, isn't it? For those who don't know the Yashichi, or the Yashichi, or however it's pronounced, I don't speak Japanese anymore. And I barely did to begin with. I could hold a bit of a conversation, but it was nothing major. Anyway, here we've got the last guts lift section in the game. Similar to how Iceman's level had the last Yoku block segment of the game. Don't tell- don't- no! No! I actually need the Magna Beam, don't I? Why would you force me to use something that has no use? Then I'll be right back. And welcome back! Hold on. So it went back and formed power-ups and filled up the Magna Beam. Like we should, because we're good little children, aren't we? No. No! Well, I can guess I can use the time to get back here and stuff because none of you wanted to... None of you want to watch me farm power-ups, but y'all want me to suffer through this level some more, don't you? We haven't even gotten to the hard part of this level. Yeah, I realized what they said when Mega Man 2 was the first fortress, or first game to have a uh, castle that was actually fun. Not that there's anything wrong with this game's Wily Castle, it's just that... It focuses a little bit more on cheapness. There we go, so anyway, uh, right. Notice how on up there, there's the, uh, the gut, there's clones of Guts, man. Does Wily consider Guts man to be his, like, de facto robot or something? Just like, I want a robot that's big and bulky like Arnold Schwarzenegger so he can take me away on a magical flying trip through Las Vegas. Wait, the hell am I talking about? Either way, let's equip the Magna Beam and... Beam us up. Scotty. Now we're gonna wait for the uh, Guts Lift to come back because there's uh, an extra life here. Not like we need one. But the big thing is what I just collected. That is the Yashichi, and you wanna know what it does? Completely, completely fills your weapon energy and health. And now we're down to 80 lives. We've died like a lot. Anyway, here we have the rest of the boss gauntlet. Because this boss gauntlet just wasn't awesome enough to be kept into one level. It has to be Mega Man X style and put into multiple levels. So now we're gonna take out the Ice Slasher so we can take out Fireman. Eat shit and die, Fireman. After Fireman's taken down, the rest of the bosses are pretty much a joke. 
especially because we have the pause trick. Get into this teleporter hatch, and here's Guts Man. Guts Man why did I equip the super arm? Guts Man's actually going to be the hardest boss for us here, because... It's a lot harder to use the terrain to your advantage. Alright, and now we're sent here. And I'm probably going to do a suicide refill here and stuff. Now what they do give you... ...is a weapon energy power-up, which is good. Now let's speed up! And welcome back. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles, let's fill up the bombs. Save state here, and here we have Dr. Wily's magnificent flying machine. Takes his UFO and attaches it to this hovering tank thing. Now this form is weak to the uh This form is weak to the Thunderbeam. It takes I think this is the form that's weak to the Thunderbeam. No, I'm damn certain it's this is the form that's weak to the Thunderbeam. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using the Thunderbeam, would I? Well, I probably would be, but... Oh, hey there, uh, yeah. Let's go! I can't wait. Dr. Wily, you may have destroyed me thrice in the past, but I will. Oh, this was the firm form that's weak to Firestorm. Okay, I'll take it. Which means that this form is weak to Electric bolts of electricity. Oh. Got these projectiles that the Dr. Wily shoots at you and stuff, they have really weird arcs. And also the frame rate seems to dip because there's so much action going on at one time. The NES can't handle it, but we, we have victory. Uh, turn, turn around. Mega Man, turn around. He's behind you. He's he's behind you. Turn up. NES game limitations. Why don't they just turn Mega Man around? But either way, clear points. We get two hundred thousand points for beating that, plus twelve hundred from twelve thousand from the score bonus. And we get these nice little credits. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man! Exclamation point, for everlasting peace. There's some beautiful mountains right there. NES mountains. That's arguably the best looking part of the game right there. Even then that's not saying much. Planner A.K Character Designer Yasukichi. Alright. Character designer Tom Pon. That sounds like Tampon. <laughs> anyway. Character designer Enough King. Character designer AK again. Programmer HMD. Is there any one program? Oh, two programmers. Oh, sound programmer Chen Shit. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Sound programmer Yuki Chan's Papa. What a good uh, sound programmer that was. And we got this nice little credit sequence. Ending little scene right here. 
And did you guys, did you guys manage to get a, uh, hear of the, uh, credits theme and stuff? Because, if so, that actually ties into the next game. But anyway. Uh, presented by Capcom USA, and this LP was presented by me. Tune in next time when we... Oh, wait, the game's over, and I don't have anything else to LP. Well, we'll see what we can whip up next time. Take care.